Good morning. Back to Goland for some snippet pixie. Right. So where were we? Uh, right, we've got some to do's here. Um, implement page up down uh, and handle. Ah, oh, yeah, and then we've actually got to handle the list. So, so what we're we doing? So, we have um, we have a GUI app for Snippy Pixie, um, and we can now at the moment see a list of existing snippets. Um, and if I tab into this list, and this is a custom list um, a component that I've built, I can move up and down. Um, and I can go to the end of the list, the beginning of the list, uh, but I can't page down properly. Um, it does the page down, but it's not like changing focus at the same time. So if I go, so if I move down one or something, it's just taking me back to the top where the focus is. So when I do a page down, I need to catch it. Um, and then I, and then either I need to either do the move or the refocus and then let it carry on with the page down or completely override the page down page up. Uh, so that's the next thing I need to do because it's a bit annoying otherwise when you're trying to get through the list. I mean, the thing is, I mean, in most cases, you'll be doing things like, oh, what just want the date ones, and then you've got a restricted list. Um, but, you know, I just want it to be usable. So um, let's do this, then I will make this small, stick it off to the edge. We will just hide this. And then let's start working on this. So, okay, page up, page down. So, we have no concept of where in the list body or the visible list view um, in the viewport as such where we are and where we've got focus and we don't know how big it is and we don't know what page it therefore is so we're kind of scuppered at the moment so in this context here, we've got a page is basically six. We've got six items there. And if I do a page down, I think what I want. Well, I guess I want the same as that. That's moving to the last item. Is it completely visible? Yeah, I think it is. Yeah, okay. That's interesting. See, I would have expected it on a page down there to go to, well, seven as the top there, purely because we can already see the entirety of six. And so if you page down, uh, the next thing is like, we can just see the top of seven there. But it's maybe um, got slightly different Workens. So that's BP. 
Interesting. Yeah, it's always done a bit less than a page. Okay. Right then. How do we do this? Okay, well, first of all, let's catch the event and then we'll start debugging. Let's see what we've got. Kinda want the big kinda want some of this go down stuff, so we'll start there. So as long as we're not already on the last item and the event key is page down or Should we just do D as well for down and up? That's not strictly. No, it's probably best to do Control F, Control B, forwards and back. So let's do that. Gonna have to wrap in a sec. I mean, the text, not verbally. Um, okay, event dot uh, is it control? Yeah, control key. So if we've got the control key and F, so doing control F. There we go. There's, there's wrap this. So it's a bit long, can't see what's going on. <clears throat> yeah, we're missing one there, aren't we? There we go. Okay. Let's do let's do a silly thing here just for testing. We'll do that. This is just for tests, so I just want to see if I can catch the keys. So at the moment, if I do up and down, that's fine. If I do a page down, it should move to number two and then put it at the bottom of the list. He says, but it didn't. Maybe I'm not supposed to. Is it not bottom? I'll check that in a sec. Oh, we can't. So that's not good. Okay, let's um, but that could work. So let's move that there, and I'll do page down. So it's going to go to nine, and in theory, go to 
what interesting oh it's using the bottom of it of course it's the wrong thing oh actually this might actually be a simple way to do this so if I go down to eight again hmm now what I need to know is how many items I have in the viewport because this is interesting actually if I do um, go back here so if I go um, if I just do this I'm just going to do it. Right, okay. Let's do this. Um, so, page, I'm just going to wing it at the moment. Page length equals six. Give us what we've got at the moment, but I'll obviously have to make that dynamic. Um, so, if we have a page length that's six, and we say, Focused item equals if we do. Snippet stop length I don't know, that's not a whole at the end. I want if um focused item plus page length is greater than Then we do snippets dot length minus one. Otherwise, focus item plus page length. So all I'm doing there is if we add the current page length which we're going to get dynamically at some point um, to the current focus item index so that we're moving the page down um, if that is greater or equal to <laughs> close there um, the length 
Yeah, because it's a, it's a zero index and we, the length is one more than we need. Um, then we set the focus to the last item, which is length minus one. Um, or, and if that's not the case, and we can go a page down, then we just do focus item plus page length. So let's try that. So we're here. If we do a page down, we should go to number seven at the top. Oh, so close. Why does it not do that? And now we're going to have... Oh! <laughs> oh no, I am returning true, so it shouldn't, shouldn't do anything. It should be preventing default. Hmm. That's interesting. Control F moved it, but didn't scroll it. Oh, it's end and start. That's why. <laughs> oh, you numpty. Okay, right. Okay, let's try this. Control F. Right, that's fine. And then uh, go back to home there, and then I'm going to do page down. That's fine as well. That's great. Okay. That's what we want. So it's going to be number seven then. Control F. Yeah. I'm busy at the start. And if I keep going. What's it going to do? Right, so I'm getting close to the end now. I'm just going to hit the last one. Yeah. Can't go any further. So we're good. Okay, now we just need to work out the page length. <laughs> The cheat there might be to kind of do as the page down did on its own and look for the last item in the list that's visible and then just select that. could leave you at a point where you can't get to the last one.
Okay, that's not too bad. Okay, let's get the page length somehow. Um, can I get the height? Can I get the last visible item? Is that a thing? Or can I... Ideally, I want to do the page length thing. It's just so much quicker if you just go right. Bang, move. One weird thing about that would be I'm here. Do I want to go to number seven and put it at the top? Or what's going to be number 10, which is what's going to happen at the moment? Hmm. Yeah. It needs to be select the next one, either the last in, in view, and move it to the top. Um, Or the next. Yeah, okay. Okay, so is there a way to get whether an item is fully visible or not in the view? I feel like this might be a difficult one to find out um uh, let's look for things about viewport no viewport concepts that might get me No, this is all going to be the actual viewport. Hmm. Maybe I can just check on an element.
have we got? Oh, there we go. Right, okay. And what's offset height? Okay. Right, okay, so that's too much. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, I'm not sure I want to do that. I want to do a calculation and move things rather than scrolling because it's all about getting the next focus okay offset height is probably what i need For the element size, uh, for the, the rows.
Okay. So. Yeah, but this still doesn't help. I do need to have... I do need to calculate it, because I do need... Hmm. Yeah, I do need to know. The next item. So, in that case. The distance of the outer border of the current element relative to the inner border of the top of the offset parent, the closest positioned ancestor element. Ah, okay. What about offset? There's no offset bottom. That's the element. All right, so I'll have to calculate that then from the scroll. Uh, no, from the client. Okay, that's what I could do then. I can check. I could just check for an element that's not quite fully visible. And that becomes the top of the next page. Let's assume that offset top, right, outer, the, the, oh, outer border of the corner, relative to the inner border, yeah, okay. Right, okay, I can do that. Um, let's have a go. So... We yeah. 
Yeah, so we want, it. so in this case, we go home. I want, in my case, I think, see, I can see why you would want that to scroll up to the top and be the next page down because you do lose the context there. It's the one item that we know about. Whereas if you're in a big long list, yeah, we don't know what's after DT calc. So if it paged down, we don't know whether we are for sure not skipping whatever could have been after DT calc. Okay. Let's do a quick thing here then. So what? Yeah. Um. Do I want to do that? Yeah. Think. Um, do, 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 do. I've got item yet. Yeah. Right, item. In. No, see the problem is that's going to be scanning a whole load. I guess I've got no choice. Is there a way to, um, that's four in. Oops. But would the four each be better? Okay. 
could probably do that. Then again, if I do four in. Yeah, it's an object though. Mm, okay. All right, so I should not use four in. Okay. What's four off? Okay. I could just use that. Yeah, let's try that. Um, I don't think I need to do a four, although that would be bound. It just seems a little bit cleaner to do a four of. Um, and a four which is a little bit messy because that's actually asking for a function and stuff. I don't need that, I think. Get rid of that. I think I'll do a full off and see how that goes. Um, then potentially I could do just you could switch to a four, but I think I'll be all right with a, a four off. So let's try that. So change that to off. That's my preferred way. It's a little bit cleaner. So for the items, what I want to say is um, if item dot now I've got to remember the scroll thing what what scroll thing am I doing Mess, I've lost it, haven't I? Client high. Oh. Where's the thing I was looking at? Scroll top, that's what I want. Okay. 
Right, so if the item scroll top plus So we're d going through the loop. So if the scroll item scroll top plus its offset height Yeah, because we're going top down, so we should be right here. So we've got the item's top plus it's basically to its bottom. It's bottom pixel distance from there. Hmm. Yeah, then we'll make it a candidate. And then the last candidate to match is the one we focus on and scroll top. Okay, yeah, we'll do that. Um, so blah, blah, blah is less than uh, now we're screwed. Oh no, yeah. Event target dot client height, isn't it? Yeah. Then Yeah. Say last visible equals item index. Let last visible equal zero. Okay. Let's do need to do a little check there. Hold on, if we've got item scroll top plus item off step. Oh, yeah, okay. 
So if item scroll top is less than zero, continue. Don't care about it. It's above the fold. If it's there, do that. And then, yeah, I don't know what's going to happen here if we've gone too far, but hopefully we won't go too far. Um, and then we'll have, if, no, we'll just have an else here. If we're going too far now, we can break. And we can do if last visible Mm. That might be all we need. Let's try that. Just going to come that out for a second and just do focused item equals last visible. I'll try that for the moment. I'm not sure that's great actually. Uh, but it might get us where we need to go because I've only got like a minute and then I've got to stop. So if I do page down, so the last visible is six. Hmm. Didn't do a lot, did it? Okay. So what we're doing here, items, scroll top, continue. Quick look at this, then I'm gonna have to stop. I need um so put a page down, we're looking to go whole bunch there. Zero. That's not good. Okay, why? Comes with a log. X plus
Going into that, okay. Let's see. Ah. All right, that's my problem. I can't actually get at the index. Okay, I'll have to fix that another day because I've run out of time. But okay, so it's getting there. It's just dying because I can't access the index property for some reason. Okay, so I'll just have to use the, um, I'll probably just use a for loop and just use the index on that, effectively. But right, I can't, can't carry on, I've got to stop. So, um, I will kill that off from that, and I will say thanks for watching, uh, until next time, take care.